Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel and for today I am going to show you what is in my art bag. So this bag right here is just a medium or small sized bag and uh, I like to travel light so I don't like big bulky bags only if I have to and as you can see here um, it's just a simple bag but what I like about it is that it has a lot of pockets um, especially in the inside so we have a pocket right here at the back and we have two here for the main storage and we have also two here in the front we have a small pocket here and a bigger one right here and uh, I'm gonna show you what are the items that I bring whenever I go out and have to bring my art materials with me so without further ado let's start okay so first item in my bag let's look at this pocket right here Cha -cha! so here I just have of course uh, my keys with me and of course some change um, for when I commute and here in this front pocket I have uh, my main art material here which is watercolor and this is the Sakura Koi um, portable uh, watercolor so I bring this along because it has everything that I need um, to make artwork and here on the insides I always have uh, my swatch sheet attached because um, I would always like to have a reference on what the color would look like um, when it's on paper and this gives me easy a uh, reference to all of the colors that this set has so this Sakura Koi has um, 18 colors it also comes with its own um, water brush and the barrel right here is loaded and ready to go and what I like about um, water brushes is that it eliminates the need for you to bring like a, a cup of water uh, when you paint um, all you have to do when you need to change color is to dab your brush right here at this two sponges and that cleans up the brush and gets it ready for the next color that you're gonna use all right so let's move on to the next item so here at the back um, we have this small pocket right here and this is actually where my cell phone is uh, for me it's very important that I bring my cell phone with me so that I can post uh, artworks on the go and at the same time I can also make artworks using my phone so later on I'm gonna tell you more about why this phone is very important for me to bring at all times especially uh, when I make art so this compartment right here uh, contains my watercolor paper and I always bring different types of watercolor paper uh, depending on what I want to draw or have to draw. I like how sturdy and compact this is uh, because it protects my paper from getting crumpled and folded. And also uh, this bag is waterproof. So if ever, if it rains, I'll be sure that all of my paper is there safe and sound. Now let's move on to the main compartment right here. Okay, so in this main compartment, I have another set of a watercolor or portable watercolor. Uh, this is the Kohinoor and a Linky. This serves as my backup watercolor in case I need more paint or I need um, a different set of colors. Um, I like this because it's very compact and each palette has six colors. So um, all in all, um, this has 24 colors. This set is actually very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. A little paint goes a very long way. All right, so that's it. So again, uh, this is the Kohinoor um, Anilinki. Next one that I have here is this pencil case uh, that has color pencils. So just in case um, I'd like to go for a different look, so I also bring uh, color pencils with me. Uh, this is a 24 color set and these are Stabilo um, Aqua Color. So this is not um, an ordinary colored pencil. Uh, these are watercolor pencils and I like it because aside from it being colored pencils, I can make it look uh, like watercolor, just brushing it with water using the water brush. So again, these are 24 colors and it fits perfectly in this little pencil case. So next one that I have here is this file case and this contains 
my Vake SX40 graphic pen tablet. So I like this hard plastic case because it protects my Vake SX40 from damages and if ever it falls at least it's in a hard case. So as you can see this pen tablet is very thin so the plastic case protects it from getting crushed. And this is the pen and what I like about the Vake SX40 is that you don't need batteries for the pen and all you have to do is to plug in the tablet and then the pen would work without any need of batteries or charging. I also have here the accessories this is the pen stand and we have here the adapters that you can use so that it can connect to my phone. So we have two adapters here, one is C-Type and then the other one is for micro SD. And also, uh, like I mentioned earlier, that's why it's important for me to always have my phone with me because I can do digital art on the go. Okay, so let's move on to the next item. So it's here in these two pockets inside the main compartments. Um, it does have this pocket right here with the zipper, but I don't really put anything in there. But these two pockets here contains my Kohinoor era pencil eraser. So this is good for um, erasing uh, small details. And I also have here just the normal eraser so I can erase large spaces. And the next one that we have here are these water brushes. Um, these have um, different brush sizes. This is the small brush. And this one here is a medium sized brush. And the last one that we have here is a large sized brush tip. So again, I like water brushes because it eliminates the need for you to have like a cup of water all the time. And um, it prevents you from knocking down the cup and ruining your artwork. So I always use um, watercolor brushes instead of the normal brush uh, with a cup of water. I also have here um, a pencil Technicwick. This is a mechanical pencil. And I like bringing mechanical pencil instead of uh, the regular pencils because I don't have to sharpen it all the time and eliminates the need for me to bring a sharpener with me. The last item that I have here are these Micron fine liners. Uh, these are Sakura Pigma Microns. And I only use three types of Pigma Microns. These two are felt tip pens, uh, 0.2 and 0.8. I use the 0.8 for uh, thicker, bolder lines. And for the 0.2, this is enough to make um, thin, detailed lines. The third one that I have here is a Micron PN. Uh, PN stands for Pen Nib. So this is good for making um, varied lines, uh, thin and thick lines. Um, it's very similar to a brush pen, only thinner. So let me show you the difference of the felt tip versus the pen nib. So the felt tip makes uniform lines. So if you want varied lines, uh, use the Micron PN. I normally use the, the PN more than the uh, felt tip ones. Alright, so that's it for today's video and that's what's inside my art bag. So guys, if you also have an art bag, um, comment down below what are the things that you have in it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.